Putin fetish has long frustrated his fellow Republicans. But the last part, equating the United States with Putin's Russia, crossed the line. Putin's a former KGB uh, agent. He's a thug. Uh, he was not elected in a way that most people would consider a credible election. Uh, the Russians annexed Crimea, invaded Ukraine and mess around in our elections. Uh, no, I don't think there's any equivalency between the way the Russians that conduct themselves and the way the United States does. Again, uh, Leader McConnell, one of the most disciplined men in Washington, uh, not saying the president's wrong, but then going on to make crystal clear he thinks the president is very, very, very wrong. Uh, to your point earlier, you were saying they hope that they keep hoping the vice president sort of pulls the president away from where he is, which nobody can quite understand. Uh, where he just refuses to say you know, to to crit that he won't criticize Putin is one thing that drives people on the hill uh, particularly a little crazy, shall we say? Uh, but the fact that he equated the United States with Vladimir Putin's Russia has them all at spinning now. It would be, yeah, it's like a sort of um, you know lefty college professor. Yeah, um, well, it's also a line straight out of Russian propaganda, right? <laughs> right. I mean, if you watch all the shows on yeah. RT, RT that's that their is message. always right. their message. Oh, you're so it, clean here, America. Right. Yeah. How about United your own States Central Intelligence Agency? Yeah. That has no standing to criticize. Yeah. yeah. After all you've done, look at look at the Chile and Kissinger. No, of course. I mean, they, but. Trump doesn't know that. He doesn't no, know he that doesn't. he's reprising the RT talking points. He doesn't know that he's doing Howard Zinn impression. It's just his go-to line, and he's not made the jump right. from citizen or candidate to president. And he thinks that I can just basically say the same thing that I told you know, Joe Scarborough a year and a half yeah. ago when I was asked the same question. And it's different now, and he doesn't quite get that. And that's what's, what's remarkable. I mean, if you read the transcripts of Donald Trump from, from that interview, I mean, he sounds like candidate Trump, right? I mean, he doesn't seem like he clearly has access to enormous amounts of information now that he's president. He can call on anyone uh, and do some sort of briefing. He clearly hasn't done that. Uh, so he keeps going back to these same ideas about Putin, uh, about ripping up the nuclear uh, agreement, and uh, just doesn't seem to have moved off of that. Maybe he will at some point. It's, it's not well, clear. It's clear, it's clear, it's clear that the Republicans on the Hill are not comfortable with his rhetoric. The right. question is, do they confront him yes. legislatively yeah. on yeah. the right. sanctions in particular? Yes. There is a bipartisan push to stay different sanctions against Russia, people, everyone from John McCain, Lindsey Graham, to uh, Democrat Ben Cardin, Chuck Schumer is involved in that too. Does Mitch McConnell bring the sanctions bill to the floor of the Senate and confront Donald Trump on this issue? We don't know where the administration stands. That is, it, to what, it, what pushes them to go after this issue, go after Trump on Putin? Is it comments like these, or do they stay, yeah. you know, let, let Donald Trump clean it up himself. And when you ask people about this, whether they're members of Congress who are deeply involved in national security and foreign policy, whether they're people who have served in prior administrations, Democrat or Republicans, uh, their people are divided. Some people say he just doesn't get it, doesn't understand it, and hasn't taken the time to learn it as president, hasn't taken the time. Other people say he's just stubborn. He doesn't want to say he was wrong about Putin after spending a campaign saying all these nice things. Dem